Hi there, welcome to Get Your Local Business on Google Search and Maps. My name is Vicky Sepulveda. I am the Grow with Google Digital Coach for the state of Texas, and I'm super excited to be presenting this valuable tool that small businesses can use to make sure that you stand out on Google Search and Maps. Today's agenda is what exactly is a Google Business Profile? how you can create your business profile, how you can manage your business info on Google Search and Maps, and we're gonna give you some resources. So let's get started. What is a Google Business Profile? First of all, we did rename it. It used to be called the Google Business Profile, but now it's called um, uh, Google My Business, and we've renamed it to the Google Business Profile. The business profile is a free way for you to help your business all the information appear on Google search and maps. Once you have your business verified, you can update your information, your phone number, your hours, your websites. Plus, you can really help engage with your customers and connect with them on a really great level by answering questions for them. They can come and visit you. You can add all your products and your services. If you have a Google business profile, I would like for you to know that the more active you are on your profile, the more you're gonna stand out online. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at this profile right now. As you can see, you can add your business name on there. You can upload photos and videos add your location with your address so people can actually go to the uh, business profile app and click maps and get directions straight to your location, which is actually very, very powerful and very useful for customers trying to find your business. And then let's not forget that you can actually communicate with your customers online through your phone. This slideshow is showing an example of an actual business that is in New York. And when you're creating your business profile, this is what it's going to look like on Google Search and Maps. On the right hand side, you're going to see your profile. On the left hand side, you're going to see information about your profile, but you're also, other, also going to see other um, retail shops or shops that are appearing in that slide. So now having a business profile isn't going to guarantee that you're going to your business is going to appear on search and maps, but it is very, very helpful tool. So appearing on maps is super important because we know that 1.5 billion destinations every month are visited and are related to Google searches. What's important too is business with storefronts that are open to customers and that meet with customers in the service areas now are appearing on Google Maps. And there are a lot of different signals that Google uses to determine how these results are shown, including relevancy, the distance, the prominence, and relevancy is well, a business profile is when it's matched in search. Your business profile needs to be detailed and up to date. Um, Google is actually more likely to help you show up when we've got a lot of information from what you've put in your business profile. And if you have that brick and mortar, then you're going to appear, appear like in this example with a little red pinpoint showing exactly where you're located in Maps. A business profile works on every device, so you don't have to worry about how customers can find you and how they get online. They work on all devices, mobiles, laptops, desktops, um, tablets, and cell phones. So let's get started on creating your business profile. My quick tip for you today is if you have all of your all of your assets for your business in your Google Drive in a folder with your docs with descriptions, product um, descriptions, and folders with pictures, then it's going to be very easy to upload. I do recommend starting out on a desktop or laptop to get started on your profile, but from then on, you can manage your business profile on any devices. So to get started, you would want to go to google.com forward slash business. From there, 
you're going to have a couple of options. Creating your business profile by clicking Manage Now. Okay. You can also start directly from Google Maps on your computer and or in the Maps app. So we're going to take a quick look at how this is going to work. Google Maps offers you three ways, okay, to get started. On your computer, visit Google Maps at maps.google.com. Make sure that you're signed into the Google account that you want to use for your business. And you can search for your address and then add your business in the list of options below that. So you can also click that three line um, icon that sometimes we call the hamburger icon at the top left corner. A list of many items is going to appear and you can add click add your business or you can right click on the map and click add your business. So in this menu, this is what you're going to be looking at on the screen. The process is very, very similar. If you're using your mobile phone, you're going to open the Google Maps app search for your address or tap the map, then you're gonna tap add your business to maps for free. Follow the prompts to enter all your information about your business, then complete the steps to verify ownership of the business. Now, most people were gonna to wanna to verify their business via the postcard, which is gonna arrive in about five days. When you receive your postcard, just return to your business profile, enter that PIN, it's a six digit code from the card, and your business profile will be ready to go live. But remember, in the meantime, you don't have to wait for that postcard to update all of your business information. You can add information onto your profile immediately, and these updates go live once the verification is complete. So let's take a look about what you can do with your business profile. In order to use most Google products, including managing your business profile, you need to start by signing into your Google account. And it's gonna provide a single sign-on username and password that lets you access all connected Google products. So everything lives in that four, the little, um, what we call the waffle on the right-hand side, you see the, all the nine little dots, that's what we call the drive and all the Google tools live in there. So, once you're signed into Google, you can start processing of claiming or creating your business profile. The first step is just type the name of your business. You, you want to make sure that you're typing it in as you want it to appear on Google. So as you begin typing your business, a drop down list may appear. If you see a list of businesses, check for yours. If your business name does appear, then you're going to want to click on it. This is actually going to help you jump ahead. So in that's the case, you won't enter a lot of business details. You'll all about automatically be asked to confirm your business. Now, don't worry if you need to make changes to your information, because we're going to talk about that after you've verified your business profile. If you type in your business name and it doesn't appear in the list or you don't see an option listed, just click next. And we're going to talk about that now. Here's where you're going to want to confirm that your business name is spelled correctly and the category for your business. If you can't find that perfect category, don't worry. Choose something that's close. And remember, you can change this later and you can add additional categories. So you're going to be asked whether your business has a physical location that people can actually visit. Um, a lot of local service area businesses operate out of private homes. If you are a service area business and you see customers face to face, but at the customer's location or at a common location like a coffee shop, then you can actually hide your address. These businesses can still appear on Google Maps without displaying the address or showing driving directions, which is very important. The areas that you service, service will be highlighted on the map. If you checked yes, and you, you'll be asked to answer the complete official street address for your business, but don't include any extra details, no cross streets or nearby landmarks. You can add suite or office numbers on, on the separate address line. You can click add a line. Just remember, PO boxes are not considered accurate physical locations, and they're not allowed. This is including mailboxes at locations other than your business address, like shipping stores. So please keep that in mind. Do not use those addresses. 
Now, if your business does have that physical address, but also deliver goods and services to customers, you get to have the option to add a service area as well. We'll also, you will see also the screen if you checked no on the screen that asked you if you had a physical location that customers can visit. If you are a service area only business, you will see another screen that asks you for your mailing address. Now, this is not going to be public on Google search and maps. It's only used to complete that verification process for your business. Remember that postcard? So that's really, really important. Remember, a business profile is available only for businesses that have storefronts or serve local customers in service areas. Very easy. You can um, add service areas. You can enter cities and post uh, codes. You can add descriptions of the area like neighborhoods and districts. And once you've done all that, then you're just going to click next and go to the next step. You're going to be prompted to enter your phone number or website URL, providing a lot of information to get help customers find you and get in touch with you. The more they have about your information, the more they're going to learn about your business. It's important to try to get this step very, very complete. And when you're done, you're just going to click next and we're off to the next step. Now is where we're going to start that verification process. Okay. So make sure that to confirm that your business location and your authorization to manage the business profile. Verifying by mail is going to be that postcard that I mentioned before. And don't worry if your business isn't quite open yet, you don't have to wait to uh, wait, uh, wait for the process and you can click verify later. So when you click mail, a postcard is already on its way. It should arrive within five days, but remember it is the mail, so it could be as long as 14 days. If anyone else at your location checks your mail, like a coworker, or receptionist, or family member, make sure to be on the lookout for this postcard. You don't want it to be um, inadvertently put on a desk and not found. Now, the next thing is you wanna add as many services about your business. So additional information is going to help your business profile really stand out on Google search and maps. And depending on the business category, you could be selected um, and you may be offered service options. So select the options that are relevant for your business. So if you have unique services that aren't offered on there, you could absolutely create your own. You will have the option to add the days and times of your businesses open. This is very important. Don't forget about special hours, holidays, and other dates that may affect how, how businesses will be uh, searching for you. For example, holidays or maybe a, a doing inventory. These are all important if your business is going to be closed. You have the option also to turn on messaging. This is going to allow customers to actually message message you directly from your business profile. And pro tip, I really like that and I've used that feature before, so I do recommend it. You may also see a prompt to add the description. This is when uh, I was telling you about the Google Drive and having your descriptions in your Google Docs. This is very easy to use because you can actually just copy and paste from the doc. You're going to ensure that the uh, grammar is correct and you can describe the business, what you offer, what's setting you apart, your history, anything that's going to help you connect with customers and anything that you want your customers to know about your business. Focus primarily on your details about your business, okay, instead of promotions and prices and sales, because guess what? You're, I'm going to show you a way where you can promote your business through events and sales and promotions. Now, quick reminder, you will have 750 characters, which is where that Google Doc, again, comes in handy with ca uh, character counting. You can add videos, uh, photos, products, services, provide as much information as, uh, for your business so that people can really connect with your products and services and connect with you. If you're interested in trying advertising on Google, you can click start now. And advertising is a great way to help your business stand out. However, if you're not ready to do that, you just have to click skip and move on. Now, we're going to be waiting for the postcard to arrive in the mail. It takes about five business days. <coughs> 
Once you have the card, head back to your business profile and look for the areas prompting you to enter the PIN code. Once you enter the PIN, the business profile is verified and you can finish completing all the information. And this is going to help your business appear on Google search and maps. So remember, you look for that postcard because the pin does expire in 30 days. So you want to make sure that you don't for surpass that window. Otherwise, <coughs> you're going to have to request another postcard. Now, let's learn about really boosting our business profile by managing your info and adding as much information as you can. Authorized business profile managers can edit and update business info directly on Google search maps. I want to give a pro tip here. As the owner of the business, it's great for you to originally claim the business. You must claim the business as the owner. Afterwards, you can add members of your team to become managers and help you add the information into the business profile. <laughs> Pardon me, got a cough today. Um, you must be signed into your account, into your Google account, so you can manage the profile. And remember, don't forget to download the Maps app so that you can map, uh, manage your profile directly from your phone. You can start by searching your business name. It should appear. And then these different icons are going to let you do some additions and updates to the business profile. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to click edit the profile. It's going to let you access your basic information, the descriptions, your hours of operation. You can make edits by hovering your cursor over the area where you want to change. A little pencil will appear. And this little pencil allows you to make edits, save the changes. Always double check that your business name is spelled correctly and your category is correct. You can add up to 10 different categories. This is really great. It shows exactly what your business is doing. And if you want to include an opening date when you created the business profile, you can actually do it there as well. The same process is going to apply throughout all the other different sections of the profile by adding, updating your contact information, adding your website. You can add up to three phone numbers, the street address, right, or your service area. Now leave the address blank if you're not, if it's not open to the public, but just include the service area. If you do service customers at your address, um, and if you're a retailer who sells to customers in store and delivers to their homes, you can enter both that service area. Also, don't forget about hours, hours, holiday hours. Maybe if you're closed for inventory, these are all very important. One of my favorite parts of the business profile is being able to add your attributes selecting attributes that are applying for your business that apply to your business we all want to support all of our businesses and that attributes really really help highlight details so some of the um, images that you can upload are asian owned black owned latino owned lgbtq owned veteran owned and women led so these images signal pride in your identity and they can attract shoppers because they want to support these communities you should always check your business profile and see which attributes are going to be available for your business some um, attributes like wheelchair accessibility and payment ex uh, accepted installations and a lot more so now this is one of my favorite parts of uh, this workshop is i get to tell you how you can show your products on your business profile. And here's a very easy way to get started. You're gonna click edit products icon and get started. You'll be prompted to enter your information like the name, the category, the photo, price, price ranges, descriptions, and an option for a button if you want to link it to a certain page on your website. This is very, very helpful because it can drive traffic to your website and you wanna pick the tab that's where you want the product, the, the customer to land on, like if it's a product, or maybe you want them to fill out a form. That's really currently up to you. So pro tip for those of you out there who actually do have a brick and mortar, and I have a free tool for you today. It is called Pointy. 
basically it offers you a way retailers to add in-store products to google with no manual data entry it's so cool you will use pointy to connect to your point of sale system to google if you use clover square or lightspeed you can down the uh the pointy directly app to add your products to google also you can order free who doesn't love free a free device called pointy box it plugs in between your barcode scanner and that point of sale system so you can scan your products as you sell them and as you do that the products are added to the google business profile in the section that's labeled see what's in store how cool is that so now you're having added exposure on the google business profile on google search and maps Nearby searches can see what you have to offer, check stock availability. These products can also surf, surface, like I said, on Google search and maps and shopping. You wanna use Pointy if you have a physical store that customers can visit and your products carry that UPC forward slash EAN barcodes that you scan at the register. Also, Point, Pointy is currently available for businesses in the United States, Canada, the UK, and Ireland. And to learn more, you can just head on over to pointy.withgoogle.com for more information. If your business is service oriented like mine, you're gonna see the option to edit services and select services that you offer. So you can create your own or select the ones that are already there. And important, add images and videos to your business profile. These are very easy to do. You can do images of your store or add pr certain products that you want to showcase. Your uh, videos are up to 30 seconds long, and you can add your photo, logo, a cover photo to make your business really stand out, line, out online. Here's an example of what that could look like, right? Show how your products are made, packaged, how you ship them. Maybe you want to give a tour of your space, as I mentioned before. And what a great way to highlight an employee and maybe an unboxing of new products or merchandise as they've come into the store and you can showcase them and invite people to come in and see them. You can create posts to add timely updates to your business profile. Posts, we spend a lot of time posting on social, but remember the Google business profile lives on Google search and maps. These posts can be seen in the updates or overview buttons of the business profile on mobile, on search and maps, and guess what? There's a from the owner section of the business profile that you can see on your computer on search and maps. So when you click add an update in that icon, you can add three types of posts, updates, offers and events and each post is slightly different in fields and it's a really great way to continue to just add attention to your profile and showcase your products now i talked to you about a little bit before how you can continue to stand out online and nothing's better than updates offers and events you can add updates about announcements, some important details about your business, maybe a call to action like sign up for your newsletter or other information that you want to share. Offers allow you to promote and advertise, right? A call to action that is automatically added. Maybe you're going to be doing um, in-store product testing and you can post that on there. If it's a uh, perfume, free samplings, et cetera. And let's not worry about events. Maybe you wanna have, you're doing a special workshop or you're celebrating an event to maybe showcase um, a new, uh, new employee that's been there, fundraisers, et cetera. So these are all ways that you can actually stand out online. Ooh, now, what other way can we connect with our businesses and our, our, excuse, our customers is by having people do reviews. So enabling messaging, enabling the public Q&A section, but reviews are also really important. Anytime people are shopping, we tend to go to that review section and read the reviews about the product or the place that we might be going to to shop. <clears throat> 
Your business profile is where these reviews and you want to read and respond to them always, good or bad. Here are some tips for responding. Keep your res responses short, sweet, polite, and professional. Don't use these responses to advertise additional products and try to respond to views, reviews, even if they're bad, as quickly as possible. Never get into a challenging conversation online. Um, what's very helpful is to try to fix the situation and then ask the uh, customer to amend the review. And this way people will see that you reached out to the customer and that you um, resolved amicably the situation. We always get the question, how can I remove reviews? Well, Google's not gonna remove a review unless it violates the content policy, which is why we always say, try to resolve the issue as quickly as possible and ask the customer to either remove it or amend, the, uh, modify their negative review. Positive customer reviews build credibility and trust. So the more you have, that's the better. So ask for them. You can actually um, add it on the bottom of a receipt. If you liked our service, you can you know, put a short link in there, um, ask for reviews via email, for social media. You can add a sign by the register. Um, here's a pro tip. You can copy that link and include it everywhere, emailing a customer on the bottom of receipts, et cetera. Messaging is a feature that is going to allow you to connect with your customers directly from Google search and maps. In the past, you needed a phone number, but this feature is no longer the case. This feature needs to be turned on in, in, if you want to use it. However, you've got to make sure that you're responding on time. Otherwise, Google can automatically turn it off. So when a customer sends a message, it's going to appear here in this example um, in Google search and maps. Your typical response time will appear on your business profile as well. You've got to respond to messages within 24 hours. Otherwise, this could be deactivated. So remember that 24 hours. So there's a lot of things you can do. And you might wonder, what is everybody doing on my profile? Well, guess what? You just gotta go over to the performance icon and you're gonna know exactly what people are doing. These reports, um, which is an example shown here on the slide, it's like tracking interactions with your profile over time. It's available for verified businesses. And it also can show insights on how customers use search and maps to find your business profile. And what did they do once they found it? You can see data on calls, messages, bookings, requests, directions. Did they go to your website? And this is all originating from your business profile. So additional analytics to learn more on how to connect with your customers. Now, we're gonna wrap up by talking about some support administrative features. Remember, I talked about this earlier. On the results page, look at the right above these little icons. You see that little three dots there. We've talked about that before. Click that icon and it's going to reveal a menu. And there's a lot of options there, a few options. So once you have your profile, business profile set up, take a minute, explore the links in this section. In the meantime, I talked about this before, you can, in the business profile settings, you can add managers who can help you edit your profile. These business managers can access the profile, but they don't have access to any other Google products that you might use, like email or, or anything like that to your Google Workspace account. And so don't worry about that. You can also create additional business profiles and you can contact Google support and access the help center. This is very important because it lives right here. So if you needed help, this is where you're going to be able to do it. We've talked a lot about the profile. I hope you're excited, as excited as I am. So we're going to wrap this up and your next step, okay, is to create and verify your business profile for your business. Follow the steps outlined that we talked about that you're going to see in this presentation. This is being recorded, so you'll be able to review this again. And once you're created your business profile, I want you to spend some time here. We spend a lot of time on social media. But remember, this is living on Google Search and Maps. So put some calendar time. Make it a habit. Add videos and photos and just you can do it as much as you want. 
You could even take screenshots of reviews and highlight those if you wanted to. So learn how to customers and learn how customers can engage on Google search and maps. And now for some resources, additional resources. This is one of my favorite, favorite tools that you can get for free. Once you create, verify your business profile, check out this cute marketing kit. Make sure that the content on your profile is complete because Google will actually create these cute little cards and stickers, but it's taken from the information on your business profile. And this is absolutely free. This is um, a, that you can add, use these like for social posts. You can do things for with reviews. So you're going to visit g.co forward slash marketing kit and enter your verified business profile name to get started. There's such a cute little marketing tip that you're going to absolutely love it. So no, make sure that you go over to g.co forward slash marketing kit. And now it's time to review some additional resources. We have our own YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash grow with Google. We publish videos every Thursday talking about different topics, how do you can grow your skills, how you can grow your careers, and how you can grow your business. And if you have not done a Google certificate yet and thought about that, well, I would like for you to really consider it. I finished the um, Google Digital Marketing and E-Commerce Certificate, and it was a great experience. I felt that it was um, very, I, I learned new things. I refreshed new things. You learn at your own pace, and you can do it on your own ter terms. The certificates are available in IT support, project management, UX design, data analytics, and digital marketing and e-commerce. So Grow With Google, we want to help job seekers, teachers, small business owners, and startups. I feel like I, my time is coming to an end, and I want to thank everyone for watching. My name is Vicky Sepulveda. I am the Grow With Google digital coach for the state of Texas. Thank you for your time, and thanks for growing with Google.